Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I just finished working on a simple project which is controlling an Arduino using uh, an app you'd have on your PC. Wait, let me just minimize this. Alright, so this is the app right there. It's a really simple GUI. You have three sliders and all that, the writing, and that's it. And uh, when I run this thing, it uh, appears like that. And this is it you just have a small window that you can close minimize or whatever and uh, what it does is it controls this LED over here and uh, let's say you want to change the color of your case but you do not want to physically use the remote which is kind of tedious since you know this thing uses RF no um, IR and you need to point it at a certain position for it to do anything so uh, just make this app which will interface with an Arduino and uh, all you need to do is uh, just uh, choose the color you want so let's say I want to have actually let me put the color that I already have running on my case which is this purplish type thing let me increase the blue I like the, the hue a little purple right there and uh, there you go the LED will give you the same light so uh, it's really simple uh, coded in Java and uh, C that you'd find in an Arduino and uh, it works perfectly sure there is a bit of delay I mean when I enter something there it takes a while to even register that because it's sending through serial and uh, this thing is like not really running that fast that I can just quickly connect send the command decode it and then uh, display it so just a little bit of delay but other than that it's not like you need to change colors immediately it's not like an emergency so this is how it works really simple nice and easy you know because uh, if it doesn't have RGBs then uh, you're definitely doing it wrong uh, here's a quick demo of me of it in use so um, let me just close it right there and the uh, LEDs will keep running and then only when I turn it on again which is right there that play button over there will it connect and then go to its default color which is uh, that and that's the uh, right there with its default color everything set to just 100 not the 255 that you would normally have it on for full brightness and uh, you can choose what you want so this is everything on max so red green and blue on max and uh, it gives you this not proper white but uh, you know close enough and then you can just play with this thing if you really wanted white you could you know play around with it and then figure out the color but you know for proof of concept this is really good I mean you can basically get every single rainbow color uh, hopefully if I get like addressable LEDs I can have like it running a nice continuous rainbow but for now this is really useful really handy I can you know hook it up into my case and uh, have an aura sync type thing without having to buy the motherboard and the controller etc etc and you just have this thing which works you know just decently no remote just as simple as you know and uh, that's it